Hello everyone, this is Pooja from a small effort today. We are going to start class 7 NCRT chapter number 2 exercise 2.1 question 3 and 4. Exercise Let's get started. 2.1 question number 3 is in a magic square the sum of the numbers in each row in each column and along the diagonals is the same. Is this a magic square? So there is a square given with lots of numbers and we have to find this square is a magic square or not. Now let's understand. So this is the square given and if it is a magic square then all sum of the rows, columns and diagonals should be same. So now let's find it. So this is the row 1. So row 1 is given 4 by 11 9 by 11 plus 2 by 11. So we have to add them. So 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15 by 11. Now row 2 is this one. So row 2 is equals to 3 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 7 by 11. 5 plus 3 is uh, 8, 8 plus 7 is 15, so 15 by 11. Now, this is row 3, so row 3 is equals to 8 by 11 plus 1 by 11 plus 6 by 11. So, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 8 is again 15. So, by uh, by adding these, uh, by the sum of these three uh, rows is 15 by 11. Now let's find the column. So this is the column 1. 1 is equals to 4 by 11 plus 3 by 11 plus 8 by 11. So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 4 is 15 by 11. Now this, this is column 2. So column 2 is equals to 9 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 1 by 11. So 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. So 15 by 11. Now column 3 is this one. So column 3. So column 3 came 2 by 11 plus 7 by 11 plus 6 by 11. Now 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. So this sub column is 15 by 11. Now let's find diagonal. So diagonal is this one, okay? So this is diagonal 1. So diagonal 1 uh, is 4 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 6 by 11. So 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15 by 11. Now diagonal 2 is this one, okay? So this is diagonal 2. Now diagonal 2 is equals to 2 by 11 plus 5 by 11 plus 8 by 11. Now 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. So by the sum of uh, the all diagonal is 15 by 11. So row is equals to column is equals to diagonal is 15 by 11. So this means that this square is a Magic 2.2 question number 4 is a rectangular sheet of paper is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long and 10 2 by 3 centimeter wide. Find its perimeter. Now let's understand so it. So this is a rectangular sheet of paper and its length is 12 1 by 2 and its breadth is 10 2 by 3. And we have to find the perimeter. Perimeter basically meaning is the sum of all length and breadth. So now let's write. So length is equal to it is given that 12 1 by 2. So as it is given in mixed fraction we will convert it in improper fraction. So 12 into 2 is 24 and 24 plus 1 is 25 by 2. And the width it is given 10 2 by 3 is equal to 10 3 is a 30. 30, uh, 30 plus 2 is 30. 2 by 3. So, as it is given in centimeter, so we will write both of these in centimeter scale. Now, it has been told to find the perimeter. So, per to find the perimeter, the formula is 2 into length plus width. So, now let's uh, put this formula. So, perimeter. So, 2 into length it is given 25 by 2 plus width it is given 32 by 3. Now, is equals to uh, so we have to first find the addition of these two so by uh, 6 so the LCM of the denominator is 6 so in 2 table 6 comes 3 time and in 3 table 6 comes 2 time 
Now uh, we have to multiply this bracket number with the numerator same as this also. So 25 into 3 plus 32 to 2. Okay. Now let's multiply it. So 25 into 3, 5, 3 is a 15, 1. 3, 2 is a 6, 1, 7 plus. Then 2, 2 is a 4. 3, 2 is a 6 by 6. Okay. So our answer again 75 plus 64 by 6. So 2 into uh, 75 plus 64, 5 plus 4 is 9. And 7 plus 6 is 13 by 6. So 2 ones are and 2 threes are we can cut it off. Now the answer we got is 3 9 by 3. So here this is a uh, improper fraction. So we will convert. In 3 table 13 doesn't come. So 3 fours are 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Uh, 9 comes down 19. So th in 3 table uh, 6. So 3 6 is 18. Uh, 19 minus 18 came 1. So our quotient is 46. Our remainder is 1. And the denominator place will go 3. So our answer came in mixed fraction 46 1 by 3 which is in centimeter. So the perimeter of the regular seat is 46 1 by 3.